preview. One of the biggest challenges for blockchains right now, if not the biggest challenge, is scalability, or the ability to process more transactions in a shorter period of time. Bitcoin has struggled to process transactions, and fees have risen accordingly. The same has happened with Ethereum, where the Crypto Kitties craze in December 2017 ground the network nearly to a halt for about a week. Ethereum is banking on a switch to proof-of-stake as a consensus method and sharding to improve network throughput. However, there is one public blockchain that is already designed with sharding working. That blockchain is Zilliqa, which had its private eco in late 2017 and a small public offering in January 2018, making it one of the first new tokens of 2018. Zilliqa is the only blockchain that has functioning sharding, which allows the blockchain to scale in a linear fashion as the network grows in size. After running on its testnet for most of 2018, the highly anticipated Zilliqa mainnet was launched in January 2019. Since then the development team has continued making improvements to the security and speed of the network. This is a fundamental change to how a blockchain reaches consensus, as the sharding solution scales alongside the size of the Zilliqa network. In theory, Zilliqa has no limit on the number of transactions per second it could process. In practice, there are limits however, as the number of transactions processed is dependent on the number of nodes in the network. As of August 2019, the network is capable of processing 2,828 transactions per second. Ultimately however it's reasonable to think that Zilliqa could process tens of thousands of transactions, and possibly even hundreds of thousands of transactions per second. The Zilliqa team has also said that the blockchain will ultimately support smart contracts. This is a major technical hurdle, as running smart contracts on a sharded network poses many challenges. In the remainder of this article, I'll go deeper into the approach Zilliqa is taking regarding both scalability of transactions and smart contracts. And I'll take a look at the Zilliqa team and its roadmap to see if their vision is feasible. One inherent weakness of blockchain technology is its inability to scale well. The problem stems from the fact that as the number of nodes in a network grows, it becomes increasingly difficult to reach consensus. Looking at a network in terms of people can be helpful to understand the consensus and scaling issue that blockchains face. It's not a perfect analogy for talking about blockchain consensus, but I think you get the point in how it becomes increasingly difficult to reach consensus as a network grows larger and larger. And this is where the scalability issues begin, because network size and network speed are inversely related. So, when one increases the other decreases. The solutions being explored by most blockchains currently consist of increasing the block size so more transactions can be confirmed in each consensus round, or by moving some information off the blockchain completely. While these solutions will help the scalability problem in the short term, they'll never scale as much as is needed for blockchains to process thousands or tens of thousands of transactions per second. They're simply a stop-gap measure that doesn't fix the fundamental problem. In order to really fix scalability, the entire architecture of the blockchain needs to be redesigned so that network size and network speed are no longer inversely correlated. And this needs to be done with security still in mind. The security of the network shouldn't be compromised in order to achieve greater speed and throughput. Zilliqa is attacking the scalability issue with their own solution that allows more transactions to be processed as more nodes enter the network. It basically rebuilds the blockchain architecture from scratch. The model they're using has a hybrid consensus protocol that will increase throughput with every additional 600 nodes in the network. Zilliqa's blockchain works by dividing the work done on the network, with throughput increasing for every 600 new nodes. This is in theory. In practice they are finding problems with broadcast once the network scales to more than 1 million nodes. However, we are currently nowhere near this level on any existing blockchain. Ethereum, which has the largest network of nodes, currently has roughly 25,000 full nodes. The Ethereum network, with its 25,000 full nodes, is only capable of processing 15 transactions per second. Zilliqa by contrast has run tests on their private testnet that has reached 1,218 transactions per second with only 1,800 full nodes. 
if you double the nodes to 3600 the throughput scales as well to 2488 transactions per second. The network has been able to scale to 2828 transactions per second successfully. Like nearly every cryptocurrency ZIL has gone through massive ups and downs. Following the January 2018 ECO, the ZIL token saw its value rising strongly, finally reaching an all-time high of $0.231489 on May 10, 2018. As the cryptocurrency bear market took hold the token fell quickly from that high and has traded steadily lower since August 2018. As of August 21, 2019, the ZIL token was at its all-time low of $0.006943. Fortunately for early investors, this is still nearly double the January 2018 ECO price. Scalability will remain an issue for blockchain technologies for the foreseeable future. While existing blockchain projects are looking for a workaround that likely won't provide more than a short-term solution, the team at Zilliqa is taking a different approach and tackling the issue head-on, with a unique and innovative approach. While Zilliqa may not have the ultimate solution yet, it is sure to be an important step in blockchain technology, and there's good chance its development of sharding technology will come into play in numerous future blockchain projects.